all right now let me start off with the uh, the most basic functions uh, let's say let's say um, let me explain these portion this grid over here let me explain these buttons first so say for example i want to do a 5 to the power 3 so 5 to the power button the button above 9 the y to the power x button to the power 3 and you will not be able to see to the power you used to get a hex kind of a symbol when you used to use a scientific calculator but you can't use that over here you press equals to and you get a 5 to the power 3 say for example i want to do 8 to the power 3 so 8 to the power 3 equals to you get the answer let's say if i want to do 8 to the power 1 third so when i want to do 8 to the power 1 third i need to get the answer to i press 8 to the power there are two options i can press 3 when you press the reciprocal button it does not make the reciprocal of the whole 8 to the power 3 it just does gives you the reciprocal of the number on the screen so right now the number on the screen was 3 so it is going to give the reciprocal of whatever is on the screen i keep pressing this and i get the reciprocal on the screen i press equals to and then it becomes 8 to the power one third i'll just repeat this 8 to the power 3 1 by x equals 2 right and say for example i wanted to do 8 to the power 2 third in that case 8 to the power within brackets 2 divided by 3 bracket close the moment you close the bracket the moment you close the bracket you are able to see the value which is there inside the bracket that is 2 divided by 3 gets evaluated when i press equals to the answer 4 is on the screen once i press equals to the answer 4 is on the screen are we all okay are we all comfortable till here all right so that is your brackets so when you're using brackets you will not be able to see the bracket on the screen say for example i want to do let's say 9 plus within bracket 8 divided by within bracket 4 minus 2 bracket close 4 minus 2 gets evaluated 8 divided by 2 gets evaluated once i press bracket close and again when i press bracket close 9 plus that happened and i got the answer 13 so you can open and close multiple brackets you have to be very alert when you're thinking about it you have to open and close multiple brackets you have to imagine those brackets in your brain in your mind and then execute the function so as and when you close the bracket say for example 8 divided by within bracket 4 plus 4 when i close the bracket the value 8 comes out so bracket close so when i'm doing say for example if i'm doing a so when i'm doing this i write 8 divided by 4 bracket open which you can't see 4 plus 4 the moment i close bracket the screen shows me 8 the moment i press equals to it gives me 1 so that is how the brackets are going to be working so you have to be very alert when you're using the brackets part everybody comfortable till here everyone sure so you could use two three four five brackets and that is only going to come through practice so in case you are finding an error in case you are falling uh, short in any place all you need to do is take a random example like the one i took over here eight plus four divided by four use a huge bracket create a bodmas equation eight plus four divided by bracket open three plus one divided by bracket open so just make a long one and see if you're getting the relevant answer and that's how you'll understand whether you're correctly using the brackets or not using the brackets well everybody comfortable till here and then just the way we can we can make the reciprocal of whatever is given on the screen i can make the square or square root of whatever is given on the screen so say for example i want to do 4 into 2 square the answer should be 16 4 into 2 square the square button will make just the way this reciprocal button was working similarly the square button will square whatever is on the screen and you get the answer 16 similarly 4 into 4 square root equals 2 so whatever is on the screen that will get either square rooted squared reciprocal and this is the power button and these are the brackets which you could use is everybody comfortable over here now certain basic functions in math say for example i want to do let's say uh, five factorial five second button and the factorial button is over here i press factorial and your answer 120 is on the screen five factorial is 120 say for example i want to do 5c2 five combination permutation combination i'll press five sorry i'll press five second c is on this button c two equals two and that gives me five c two that is permutation combination ncr and if i want to do a permutation five second p 
P is given on the minus sign P two equals to that gives you the permutation part for it. Right, everyone understood x factorial NPR NCR. Everybody is comfortable till here. Say for example, I press C C. Now I forgot to copy the answer. The equals to the answer written on the equals to button is going to help you do that. You press second and answer whatever was the last calculated answer appears on the screen. So just in case by mistake you press a C C second answer is going to recall the last equated answer on the calculator screen. Are we comfortable till here?